What is God saying for 2024? Let me share with you what I've received from the Spirit of the Lord. 2024 is the year of holy dependence and completion. It is the year of seriously asking our Father to teach us through His Spirit how to intentionally and relentlessly depend on Him. Because this life now in Christ is a race of faith, and this race is real, and so are the coming trials this year. The triumphant finishers of this race aren't the ones who know all the what-to-dos and have all the things figured out, but they're the ones who delight in the fear of the Lord, that they recognize how much they need His counsel and might to finish strong in 2024. Holy dependence, beloved, will take you through this year, not self-dependence. Take note that four is a prophetic number that speaks of creation and completeness and finality. Four corners of the earth, north, south, east, west, four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall, four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and a single river flowed out of Eden, split into four, the Pishon, um, the Gihon, the Tigris, and the Euphrates, and there's so many more. But what I'm saying is that when God creates and starts something, He surely has completion in mind for it. And so I declare the good works that God has started in your life be brought to its completion. For He is he is not only the Alpha, He is the Omega. So I call for healings, deliverance, callings, and assignments, deaths, construction be made complete in 2024 in Jesus' name. 2024 is such a tra strategic year that God is giving His people to make things right with God, get things in alignment with God, including decisions around family, relationships, investments, and associations. The decisions you're going to make this 2024, what you start and build, what you give and sacrifice, what you confess, what you believe in, and more importantly, the where concerning all these things you do and partake on this year are going to determine how you're going to complete and finish in this race of faith. 2024 is a determining year that will greatly impact and affect the rest of your life. So I'm pleading with you, be wise. Things are going to happen so quickly that you will even make four decisions at once. And if you don't have this deep dependence on God for everything, you will surely be shaken and overtaken by the unknown and the unfamiliar. The blessed are they who trust in the Lord, for they shall not be put to shame. Call it crazy, but you're going to need to cry out for wisdom from above, even in the littlest decision you thought you could handle by yourself. People are going to think you're crazy or you're too much. But remember that even the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. If there is one thing, beloved, that you ask of the Lord this year, ask for wisdom, the Father says, because you will need it every single day from now on. Seek understanding. And the key to this is holy dependence. Better is a child with faith who doesn't know his way around than an adult without faith that knows his way around. Be like Solomon. While this seems overwhelming, the grace of God for this season for his children is his store, his storage of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. And yet the key to this treasure is the holy fear of the Lord. And if you are to rule and reign in 2024, depend on God. Ask for wisdom above all things. And remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of it. 2024 is the year of building. Then I hear the Lord say, Choose wisely not what you will build, but where you will build. Everyone who works for me knows what to build, but only those who belong to me know where to build. 2024 will reveal the wise and the foolish builders and disciples. Both builders hear his words. The difference is that the foolish does not put them into practice. Therefore, he builds things on the sand. The wise put them into practice. So, he builds things on the rock. Notice how the word sand in the Bible is often used as a metaphor for the quantity of man. And how the rock is a metaphor for Jesus Christ. The wise builder builds on and for Jesus who is the rock. But the foolish builds for and on men or the self. And we all know what happened to the house of the wise. It stood through the test of time. But the house of the foolish was shaken and eventually got destroyed. 
there will be an amazing abundance of buildings this year. Ministries, schools, businesses, and names both in church and outside the church in all the seven spheres of, spheres of influence. But they will be known for what they truly are, for their foundation. And only those built on the foundation of Christ will stand through the test of time, which will truly be intense and seen this year. So as for you who are building, is your heart right with God? Is it Jesus? Or is it man? Is it self? God bless you, beloved.